Today we're going to be installing a 100 amp sub panel. Here's the exact panel that we are using today. So we're going to be mounting our sub panel about right here. Make sure you pay attention to the clearances that are required. These top lugs right here are always going to be live because those are coming directly from the meter. Up next we're going to be installing the ground bars. So I will be lining this up with these two holes on this side and then the same thing on this side over here. Anytime you have a sub panel, we have to make sure that we have our bonding screw removed. We want to keep our ground wire way in the back. It has 120 volts each on those two legs. So just be really careful around that stuff. And right here is our 100 amp breaker. Nice and tight. There it is. This is going to be our neutral wire. Now in order to land that big wire in our main panel, we actually have to use a kit. Here are the components that come in that kit, and now we're ready to attach this nice and snug. Since that is in neutral, we're going to have to mark it up where it will be visible, and then we'll do the same thing on the opposite side. And then we'll just tighten that down. See how we have it clearly marked with the white tape. So there we have all of our main conductors brought into our sub panel. Now we're gonna bring a wire down into the top of the panel. So I think we'll finish out this sub panel by wiring in our first circuit that we have pulled in so far. 